Welcome to the Accountant General's Department. My name is Kelsey Chambers, Public Relations Officer, and today I will be taking you on a virtual tour of our Revenue and Expenditure Unit's Quality Management System. In March, we relocated here to the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service Building. I'm now standing in the main lobby, but I'm going to take you on a tour to where the real r and action takes place. Come, follow me. Now for where all the magic happens, the Revenue and Expenditure Unit, up on the penthouse floor. So right now we're going to visit the head of the Revenue and Expenditure Unit, Mr. Raja Harrison. Let's talk to him. Hi, Raja. Hey, what's up? Tell us about what you do. My name is Roger Harrison. I am the Assistant Accountant General for the Revenue Expenditure Unit. Um, what my duties entail, um, it's very brief, revenue and expenditure. <laughs> Um, but primarily, um, within that context, I must tell you that when we speak about revenue, there are some major players for revenue for GOJ. These we call them PRRs, primarily Jamaica Customs Agency and the Tax Administration of Jamaica. Um, those are two primary entities that we include as major PRRs who are revenue generating agencies to help the government offset its expenditures. Now, on the aspect of execution, which is expenditure, budget um, execution, we do make payments on behalf of the MDAs, ministries, departments, and agencies. And therefore, through the central treasury management system, therefore, these things are centralized um, right here at the treasury, and we make payments on behalf of all of these MDAs. In a central location, which is where I am um, having the oversight here. Additionally, our major stakeholders, um, I must indicate our stakeholders are like the Ministry of Finance, the Auditor General, BOG and other financial institutions that we do business with on a daily basis. Other suppliers, yes, but primarily those financial institutions who have the accounts of the suppliers and BOG is our primary bank. So in a nutshell, um, that is what we do and those are our major stakeholders. Thank you. We're going to the Human Resource Management and Development Unit on the fourth floor. Let's go. Welcome to HR. This is the area that supports all of the department, but especially RE. We support them by providing staffing and ensuring staff development through the necessary training interventions. I'm Cecilia Wilson, the Human Resource Manager here. You would appreciate that recruitment and selection is a very important function of any organization. The recruitment and selection, transparency plays a pivotal role and in being transparent we do documentation i could walk you to our as part of the process of our trans, of being transparent and our documentation where we keep our files or records so when a vacancy is identified we start by uh, doing our advertisements. We advertise internally and externally. Uh, this file keeps our internal and external advertisements. All right. So when, when the applications are received from the advertisements, a shortlisting panel is comprised, it's, it's put together. The shortlisting panel, when they would have returned their report, their, their matrix, 
They are given matrix, and when the matrix are returned, we put a report together, a short listing, summary report. From the reports, the persons who have, who would have uh, attained a mark of 75 or over, we would have contacted them and advised them, invite them to an interview. The panel is set up, and each member of the panel is given a package. This package includes the names of the candidates and the instrument that we're using for the for the interviews. At the end of this exercise, the interviewing exercise, an interview selection outcome report is prepared for the accountant general sign off. On her approval, we contact the candidates, the successful candidates, inform them of their outcome and advise them that we'll be contacting our vetting officers for their vetting process to, con to start. On successful or satisfactory reports from the vetting officers, the candidates are called in to complete forms uh, for us to seek approval from the Office of the Services Commissions for their employment. Because we do not have delegated authority, the Office of the Services Commissions has oversight responsibility for our recruitment and selection process. On the approval from the Office of the Services Commission, the persons are called in to start their employment, to start their job. <laughs> All right. And their files on being employed, we keep the files here. Properly labeled, properly secured in these cabinets. The names are right there and on here. All right for easy retreat. Hello, good day. I'm Shamila Simpson, training officer at the Accountant General's Department. How do we support the Revenue and Expenditure Unit? All right, I'm going to take you on a little tour. So we go do that by maintaining our files on the various trainings that the Revenue and Expenditure staff members will go on. So this is what we do. So this cabinet, we have, the, we have the evaluation form, the certificate, the grades, the invoices, the application, and this is how we store them. So right here, you have the notification letters and the application form. So in this folder, we have all the information for the revenue and expenditure staff and others. We have the grades and the certificate stored in these for these, these folders and also for this we have another notification letter here so we ensure that they are properly labeled so as for us to have easy access now we go here where we have the various course outlines we have the documents and training manuals here we have the registers here and we try to ensure that we label them we label the impact evaluation and we have various partitions with different documents in each. Of course, we would have to go about doing the stationery to prepare for the training. Here goes our stationery, yes. our folder leaves, our twin folders, our beep, <laughs> and our pencils and all. Then, because of space, the invoices are stored here. And of course, this is just a summary of our little training unit to support the revenue and expenditure unit. Thank you. We're here on Block D, ground floor, customer service area. I'm going to take you inside to our customer service officer who handles the revenue and expenditure queries and complaints. Let's meet her. Hello. I'm Karen Campbell. I am a senior customer service officer and I'm responsible for the Revex email system. 
I answer ministries, departments, and agencies' queries and complaints. The queries and complaints are answered within 24 hours in most instances and 48 hours, not surpassing 48 hours. Um, monthly, a report is done that provides a summary of the incoming any open cases closed matters so that they can be addressed in a timely manner. Well, hello again. You've already met me, but let me reintroduce myself. I'm Kelsey Chambers, Public Relations Officer here at the Accountant General's Department. And when I'm not a virtual tour guide, this is where I am. So what we actually do is we handle all communications with our various stakeholders, ministries, departments, and agencies on behalf of the Revenue and Expenditure Unit. So what will happen is the Director of r &E will send a request to our Director of Communications, which is then passed down to me, the Public Relations Officer. I draft these messages and it's sent for review. When it is reviewed and approved, it is sent out. And we, all, we answer all request within 24 hours we also post on our website on behalf of the revenue and expenditure unit so you can see take a look at our website and if you scroll down on our website you will see where we have public notices and latest news here is where we would address some of the things that some of the messages that or ministries and departments would need to know, in addition to our advisors that we would send out via emails, etc. You can come with me, I will show you where we store some of our files. We, Though we keep everything electronically, we have some filing cabinets where we can access some of our apps that we use, like the Access to Information Act, which we, we answer access to information requests, and sometimes these requests come for information concerning the revenue and expenditure unit. So we will definitely keep these documents in these cabinets and we have easy access to them. They are labeled. Hi. Now we're on block F. We're going to the registry. That is the records and vault unit. Let's go. Hi, my name is Karen Thomas Grant. I am the assistant registrar assigned to the RPMU unit. My main function is to process all incoming variables and mail that coming into AGD. The RPM unit we support all the units within the AGD. For the revenue and expenditure unit, we we process all their incoming mails. Usually they would receive financial states financial statements, deduction listing and non-tax revenue reports. What we would also do for them is that they would take to us their their doc, their documents and then we would create a file for them. Usually once the file is created we have this cabinet over here where we would store all the respective files as relates to a uh, requesting file if they would if they need a file they would use our email system which they would send the request to, to registry file request at treasury.gov.jm usually we have a 24 hour turnaround period for them to get the file however we do make adjustments if the case where the file is urgently needed, we'd go ahead and provide that file for the respective personnel. We have an electronic log where we log all the contents within the folder that we are dispatching to the revenue and expenditure unit. We have a vault where we keep, where we keep all our files for the respective units. Thank you for visiting the RVMU unit. Welcome to the procurement and the facilities unit. Let's go inside, but first, let's sanitize. No mask, no entry. 
Hi, welcome to the procurement unit of the Accountant General's Department. My name is Roxanne Henlon, Director of Public Procurement. So in our unit, we facilitate the acquisition of goods, services and works to the AGB. How do we support the Revenue and Expenditure Department is by providing or facilitating all their needs, which include but not limited to stationery and office supplies and furniture. Thank you. Oh, hey, what's up? Hi, my name is Jeremy Smith. I am the Acting Facilities Manager here at the Account and Channel Department. And I'm going to just going to take you through how our section assists the RNE unit with their um, <clears throat> everyday function. So, come into my work. So, this is our dispatch mail register. And from time to time, we have urgent warrants that should go to the Auditor General's department, right? So what how the facilities management role in that is that we ensure that all warrants are treated urgently. So when the warrant um, request comes in, you can see in this column, we have time date delivery. So the bearer now will pick it up at this time, 9, 10 a.m. He signs and the actual date of delivery is actually in this column. So we always ensure that the warrants are um, sent out on time, right, and picked up if needs be. All right. Um, when we look at facilities, we assist um, R and in different ways. In terms of even transportation, come take a walk. This is one of our drivers at the Accountant Department. Now, every time the warrant request comes in. Is that we use our driver, Mr. Reed, to take it to the um, Auditor General Department or we can use our bike service also. We also have a bike service, it's on the road. Right and you can see right there, <laughs> that's our storage manager, right? Always ensures that our requisition for the r &E is dealt with on time and the service quality is always up. 